If you're waiting for someone to give you permission to live your dream life or have your dream business, then you need to listen to this episode. Hey there, I'm Jillian Kendrick and welcome to the Momentum Marketing Podcast. I'm a mama, a wife, an entrepreneur, and a three-time best-selling co-author. In each episode, you'll get real-world practical advice and strategies and maybe a parenting tip or two along the way. If you're ready to create a business that supports your family and your lifestyle, then you're in the right place. Hey there, it's Jillian Kendrick. As always, I am your host for the Momentum Marketing Podcast. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I'm so excited to just spend time with you and get to talk to you, see how you're doing. How's life? What's new? How's your summer? Summer was crazy. Summer was crazy for a lot of people. I know a lot of friends of mine, families, colleagues, other mamas in the area. Summer was wild. How was your summer? Let me know. Send me a message. I want to hear about it. Even though summer was crazy, there's always an opportunity to get back on track with your business, your family, with whatever you've got going on. And if you're ready for some inspiration, I would love for you to head over to jilliankendrick.com forward slash webinar and you can sign Sign up for my list building masterclass. Everything in business starts with a list. Subscribers are great. Followers are great. We need all of those things for different various reasons, but you need to have a list. You need to have people who have raised their hand and said, I want to hear from you. You can't get brand deals. You can't get book deals and you can't really launch anything unless you have a list, period. Let me show you how to build a list at jilliankendrick.com forward slash webinar. So today we're talking about permission. I have to say, I feel like this, man, (laughs) y'all, I feel spicy today. (laughs) I feel irritated and spicy and you're going to hear about it. Truthfully, though, this has been a topic that's been on my mind. It's actually been on my podcast list of topics and things to talk about for a while. And every time I've gone to hit record, I just felt, I don't know, irritated or not quite sure exactly what to say or how I want to position it. Or I've kind of gone back and forth a lot with this topic because if I'm honest, this is triggering for me. And if I'm twice as honest, I know this is going to be triggering for you. But a lot of us need to hear this, which is why this episode is going to be so important. So listen up. If you are waiting for someone to give you permission to do something, fill in the blank, have a baby, start your dream business, go out on your own, quit your job, get a new job, launch your program, create a funnel, build a website, transition your business pivot your marketing, change the thing, shut down your business. I've seen that happen too. Totally fine. If you are waiting for permission to go do the thing that's been itching you, if you are waiting for permission to go do the thing that's been lingering in your heart, if you've been waiting for permission to go and do the thing that's been in the back of your mind for months and months and months and months and months, and it's just so overwhelming that you can't even take a minute to think about because you know you're just going to break down or feel frustrated. It feels like this mountainous, monumentous sort of task that like you can't even go there. You're just so overwhelmed. And trust me, everybody's been there. Anybody who says they've never been there is lying to you. <laughs> Because we have literally all been there. Any successful person has been there. Any person who, I wouldn't say unsuccessful, but any person who hasn't had the success that we desire or has tried and failed or tried and given up, they've been there too. They're probably living in that state right now, in fact. But I want to say this because I feel like it needs to be said, and too many of us need to hear this. A lot of us, If you're in the older millennial gen X, gen Z, I don't know, whatever generation we're in, but if you're in your 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, or even maybe like late 20s, I promise you that at some point in your life, You have been conditioned as a child through parents, through teachers, through managers, through bosses, through name an authoritative figure. You have been conditioned through life to seek permission before going to do something. I mean, think about it, really. If you're a kid and you want a snack, you need to ask your parents for that snack or for that food. If you are, this is the most ridiculous thing, (laughs) but if you're in school, typically in the United States, you need to have some sort of a hall pass to like go to the bathroom, 
or go to the front office and sort out an absence. If you go to the doctor, you need a permission slip from the doctor to give to your work or give to your school to prove <laughs> that you were away for some period of time. If you're in a relationship or you have a spouse or a partner, to some degree, you need their buy-in or their permission, so to speak, quote unquote, in order to go and do things together or as a couple or as a partnership. And so we've been conditioned our entire lives to seek permission. We do it consciously. We do it subconsciously. And for those of us who are entrepreneurs, for those of us who own businesses, for those of us where nobody is standing over us, dictating what our jobs are, telling us what to do, how to do it, and when to get it done, it is debilitating to be conditioned to seek that permission, and yet no one is over you to give it. You are literally seeking permission from the air, and it doesn't work. For some entrepreneurs, it's totally fine. It doesn't matter. They can go about running their businesses, starting new ones. They don't ask for permission. It's great. And I'm not saying that all of us do this all the time and that we're so conditioned that we can't make a single decision on our own. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when it comes to the things that scare us, when it comes to the things that are big, bold moves, like starting a business, pivoting a business, creating a new product, creating a new program, taking on a new client, firing a client, closing down a business, closing down a branch of a business, closing down a division of your business. When it comes to doing the scary things, I really believe we have been so conditioned to seek permission that more than anything, that's what holds us back. And so if you are waiting for permission. If you're looking to someone to give you permission to do the thing that scares you, to take the big leap, to start or stop, to pivot, to transition, to move, whatever that looks like for you, please hear me when I say you have permission. You have permission to go do that thing. And I'm saying that as somebody who's been there and definitely feels those feelings myself, but I'm also saying that to fill in that gap for you so that you don't feel so alone. Whether you need to get a course that will help you through whatever that next step looks like, whether you need to join a program or a mastermind or get coaching, whether it's group or one-on-one, -on -one, whether you need a little bit of help or a lot of help long-term, you have permission to go do that thing. You are allowed to do what you want to do unapologetically. You are allowed to live your life and run your business without needing other people to pat you on the head and say it's okay or to sign a permission slip and let you know that you're allowed to exist. You're allowed. You can do it. Take a few minutes right now. Get out a piece of paper and a pen. Don't type it into a computer. Actually physically write it out because the process of doing that will be much more impactful than just typing it. But actually take a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil or a crayon or marker. Doesn't matter. And write down the three decisions that you need to make right now that scare you the most. Then of those three, you can take that piece of paper and keep it in your pocket or shove it into your bra and have that on you for a few days, mull it over, just be with that list for a few hours, a few days. And then once you've come to peace with being allowed to want something, because you are, you're a human, you're allowed to want things, take that list and then decide for yourself which one is the most important or the most impactful, which one will move the needle the greatest, which one do I want to do right now? Which one have I been putting off the longest? Which one is the scariest? Just decide for yourself one of those three things that you're actually going to do today and say it out loud, I'm allowed to, and then fill in the blank. Next, write a list of three things that you can do right this minute in order to get that project started or in order to move forward with whatever that scary thing is and then go and execute those things. For a lot of us, permission just has to do with starting. We can do the work. Some of us even know the formula. If we don't know the formula, there's a course out there, or there's a program out there that exists that can show you. You have the information or you have the ability to find it. For a lot of us, permission isn't about doing the work. It's about just 
getting started and building that momentum. So once you can execute on those first three things that you can do right now to move the needle or move that step forward, then start with a longer list. Now what do I need to do? Now what's next? What comes after these first three things? How do I keep moving forward? And then once that's done, you will have internalized the permission that I'm giving you now enough that you should be able to take the ball and run with it to do whatever that scary thing is. You have permission. You are allowed to exist on this planet. And you can do scary things. You can do hard things. If you need a course, go find one or go tell me and I'll build you one. <laughs> if you need a roadmap or a blueprint, go find one or tell me and I'll share mine with you. This is your permission to take that step, to build your momentum, to go and do that thing that you know you've needed to do for a long, long time. You got this. Thanks so much for joining me on this episode of the Momentum Marketing Podcast. If listening to this has brought you value, improved your life, or given you insight on how you can build your own momentum, then please share this with a friend. And if you're ready to grow your business on autopilot, then I want to help you get there easier and faster with a free copy of my Entrepreneur Survival Kit. Just leave a review of this podcast wherever you're listening right now. Hopefully it's a five-star review and you love it, then screenshot the review and email the screenshot to hello at jillianpendrick.com. Once we confirm the review, we'll send you a copy of the survival kit totally free. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on the next episode. All content is written and recorded by Jillian Kendrick, copyright 2023, all rights reserved. Subscribe.